semifinals at this Barbasol Horizon League Women's Basketball Championship absolutely lived up to it. Two games decided by a total of seven points. We even had an overtime to boot. What a afternoon here at the Indiana Farmers Coliseum. Tully Bevilacqua, Will Haskett, uh, we are out of energy. We are drained after not just 40 minutes in one, 45 minutes in another. That's, mm -hmm. that's a lot of basketball that we saw today. But the top two seeds, I mean, easiest word to use now is survive. Absolutely survive. Two really gutty performances from their opponents today. Just two entertaining games. I mean, we certainly got our money's worth, as did the fans here and those watching through the apps. Um, like you said, I'm drained. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm struggling to remember from the first game because so much happened in the second game, but such fun basketball. Started with Purdue Fort Wayne. What a game effort it was for them against the top seeded Green Bay Phoenix. Wonderful performance by Shayla Sellers. She had 21 in a losing effort for Purdue Fort Wayne, but they were up 17 7 after the first. It was an abysmal shooting start for Green Bay, but Kathy Schultz and company finally found the match. Well, Purdue Fort Wayne just kind of like came out of the gate strong and set the tempo early, which really rattled Phoenix, but then as the second half progressed, you know, those players, big time players step up and Levy was one of them and she really started to knock down her shots in the second half. She had 14, Schultz with 17, four players in double figures. Green Bay moved on by a final of 69 to 65. That was just the appetizer for the finale between Cleveland State and Northern Kentucky. A back and forth affair. Cleveland State led 9-0 to start. Then a big run. NKU would go up 19-13. Then it was Destiny Leo time late. She makes a step back three. You think, okay, the Vikings are going to survive. Wait one minute. Lindsey Duvall, her fourth three of the afternoon, ties it. And Tully, we head to overtime, and it felt like whoever scored first would win. Destiny Leo scored first. Well, from the get-go, those first couple of possessions, she came out of the blocks and set the time with knocking down a couple of shots. I mean, for most people, they are top shots. She makes them look easy. And if there's a player that you want the ball in their hands at the end of a game, it's her. She had 25, and the final is set. Noon on ESPNU on Tuesday. It'll be the top two seeds. They've been on a collision course all season. We get it. One versus two as the semifinals are in the books here at the Indiana Farmers Coliseum.